In this section, we want to move on to talking about testing averages from two different samples. So keep in mind, anytime we're mentioning averages, what we mean is determine which is appropriate, either the mean or median, and then test a claim about that parameter. So before we get into testing claims about averages, with two samples, we first need to determine whether our samples are independent or dependent. So two samples are considered to be independent if, they're, if the values in one data set have no relationship with the values in the second data set. Two data sets are said to be dependent, meaning that there is some relationship that exists between the values in one data set and the values in the other. So another word for this idea of dependent is paired. So if we either talk about dependent or paired samples, it means there's some relationship or connection between the values in the two data sets. So in our first example, <clears throat> we have a table that provides the population growth rate for the United States and Mexico each year. All we want to answer for now is, are these samples independent or dependent? So looking at this data, We've got, obviously, our population growth rate for the U.S., for Mexico, and then we have the years in which we occur those occurred. So something we can, could consider, for instance, would be swapping a couple of these numbers around. So let's say, for instance, we swapped the values for 2007 and 2005. So one way of determining this idea of independence or dependence is if we swap those two values around, does it change the information we're reporting? And in this case it does, because we're saying that instead of this population growth rate occurring in 2005, now it happened in 2007. So we can't juggle those numbers around. So in this case we would say the, data's, the data values are paired. So meaning they're dependent samples. So they're paired by the year in which they occurred. So they're paired by the year in which they occurred. If we were to rearrange those numbers, we'd be changing the information that we were reporting. We'd basically be changing the history of what actually happened each year. So that means these samples are independent. or I'm sorry, these samples are dependent. Dependent because there is some relationship between these two numbers. So these are both the numbers that occurred in one particular given year, and the same for each of those other pairs. So if we have data that's paired up by year, then we have dependent samples. In example two, we have information on the number of people who visited Welcome Centers in Utah in 2011. So question again, are these samples independent or dependent? So in this case, let's start off with the assumption that they're dependent. So if they're dependent, that would mean we'd have to be able to make pairings between the first data set and the second data set. So say, for instance, January and June have some paired relationship. February and July have some paired relationship. March and August. And then we would get to April and we would run out of values in that second data set. So one shortcut for determining that two data sets are independent is if they are of different lengths. So if two data sets are different lengths, then they're independent. because there's just no way to have a paired relationship with all of these additional numbers. There aren't enough numbers in that second data set. That's not the only way to determine if a data, data set's independent, but it is a very quick method to check. So if your data sets have different lengths, they have to be independent. If they do have the same length, like we had in example one, then you want to check to see, is there something that pairs those values together? So in this case, in example one, they were paired by the year in which they occurred. Um, other examples would include if we're testing uh, or collecting data on a husband and wife, 
or a father and son, mother and daughter. So there's, there's some relationship that connects the two people that we want to keep together.